We all spend a lot of energy getting the perfect knife or blender or skillet. Then when we go to cook in that skillet, we use any old spatula we happen to have. Or maybe I'm extra fussy, okay, I am, but so many spatulas are badly designed. They're too thick, they're too clunky to slide neatly under food. They have awkward handles that make working with them harder than it should be. And their heads are too small or too big, too stiff or too floppy. So you have to actually fight not to drop food or mangle it. So I say take a minute to get the right spatula and all that will be in the past. There's a lot of different types of spatulas from silicone spatulas that we use for baking and stirring to jar spatulas for scraping sticky food out of small vessels to plastic ones for nonstick pans. But today we're focusing on metal spatulas. So we bought 10 metal spatulas, priced from $4.50 to nearly $50. Now five were traditional spatulas with the usual square or rectangular heads, some slotted, some solid. The other five were fish spatulas. The fish spatulas are a favorite tool in restaurant kitchens and not just for fish. They have heads that are extra long, tapered, and slotted. They're designed to slip under and flip delicate fish fillets, which as you know, is a very challenging thing to do without breaking that fish into pieces. So we figured that if your spatula can flip fish, most other tasks would be a piece of cake. So we headed into the test kitchen to make a wide variety of foods where you'd need a metal spatula. We fried dozens of eggs over easy, we flipped batch after batch of pancakes, and turned and lifted big, heavy, pub-style hamburgers. We made pan-fried fish fillets and cooked potatoes into home fries where you really want to scrape up all those nice brown bits from the pan. And finally, we baked batches of sugar cookies, moving the hot, soft cookies off the baking sheet, trying not to squash or bend them out of shape. Now, these tests gave us a chance to maneuver our spatulas around and under a lot of different foods in a variety of cooking vessels and to transfer those foods out of those vessels for serving. And we did manage to do all of these things with all of the spatulas, but that doesn't mean it was easy or comfortable every time. Good spatulas will fit right into your hand as a natural extension, so you could forget that spatula and focus on the food. The bad ones are another story. But the heads of the five conventional metal spatulas in our lineup, they were squat and rectangular, making them kind of awkward in confined spaces. Most of their heads were less than four inches long, where the fish spatulas averaged five and a half inches long and that extra space makes a difference. With short heads, fragile foods like pancakes and soft cookies sometimes hit the back end near the handle and got dented if we slid that spatula under them a little too vigorously. Heavier foods like burgers sometimes fell backwards right back onto the cooking surface, and long fish fillets and large pancakes draped over the sides and threatened to break or fall off. Now, in addition to lack of length, most of the conventional spatulas in our testing had heads that were either too rigid and thick or too flexible and thin, so they buckled when we lifted the half-pound pub burgers. The thick ones were one millimeter or more thick, while that fragile one was under 0.2 millimeters thick. Now, by contrast, fish spatulas hit a nice sweet spot. At 0.8 to 0.9 millimeters thick, they were moderately flexible and they hugged the cooking surface and slipped really easily underneath all the foods without tearing or bumping. But they were still substantial enough to support heavier foods and do a little scraping. The shape of the fish spatula's heads was slim and tapered out from the base, and this made them feel much more nimble, so they could get into the tightest spaces, even the eight inch cast iron skillet we used to make our over easy eggs. Their extra length gives food a bigger landing strip, so it doesn't want to go up and over the back. It has plenty of support for bigger foods. Fish spatulas had advantages on the other end as well. Their handles were all four and a half to five inches long, and that moved our hands closer to the action, so we had more control for flipping and scooping. Now, by contrast, the handles on the conventional spatulas were way too long. They were like eight or nine inches. So we felt like we were poking clumsily at the food from really far away. Now, for handle shape and material, we really liked moderately thick handles, about two and a half to three and a quarter inches around. If they were a lot thicker or flatter or thinner, it fatigued our hands while we worked, just trying to keep a secure hold. We also really preferred handles made of textured wood or plastic rather than smooth metal because when our hands were wet and greasy, they were just not easy to hold. To test the toughness of the handles, we also left the spatulas leaning on the edge of a hot skillet. Most of them survived. So as you can guess by the conclusion of testing, we knew we were team fish spatula all the way, and two products swam to the top of our rankings. They're nearly identical, and both have comfortably sized handles made of easy to grip plastic. They both have large, long heads that could lift any food without damaging it, with moderate flexibility for good control. But this model from Wusthof had the edge, literally, because as you can see, the front edge curves upward with a swoop. 
And that little detail meant that it gave us better leverage for prying up roasted potatoes or lifting the corner of a pancake to check its browning. The curved head also positions your hand higher. It puts it at a safer distance over hot pans. Now at $49.95, it's not cheap, but we think it's a worthy investment considering how frequently we use it. It's called the Wusthof Gourmet Turner Fish Spatula and it's our top choice. But if that's too much to spend, our best buy, the MIU France Flexible Slotted Fish Turner, was just $16.57, and it came in a very close second. Its head is nearly flat, so it can't command quite the same amount of leverage as our winner, and it brings your knuckles a little closer to the hot pan. But it performed almost as well at a third of the price. With either of these models, your days of making do with a bad spatula are definitely over.